Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Two Minutes to Review. I'm Matt. I'm Zach Shaw. And if you haven't joined us for one of these Two Minute Reviews before, it's part game show, part album review. The longest review in under two minutes wins. So what are we reviewing today? Today we're reviewing the new album from Disturbed called Evolution. Came out in mid-October. It's the first since 2015's Immortalized. And this album is slightly different for the band because it's half electric and half acoustic. Um, but the response has been pretty good. And yeah, so I think that with that, let's just get into it. Matt, do you want to go first or may I take a step? Sure, I'll go first. Okay, then. So let me get the clock ready. <clears throat> your stretches. Do you want to do a few waka wakas? Before? Oh, wow. That's it. Wow. That, that's all you're getting out of that's me. All, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do a few before I go. Okay. Got to stretch out those vocal cords. All right. All right. Starting in three, two, one. So with the new album, uh, you can definitely see that Disturbed, no pun intended, is taking the next evolution with this album. Um, when they came back and they did Immortalized, uh, it was a surprise to everyone. Uh, they were you know, recording that in secret. Then they came back and it was such a huge success with the Sound of Silence and everything that now going into this album, you can see that they're looking to take that next step because they're doing so many more ballads on this one, um, like uh, A Reason to Fight, Already Gone, Watch You Burn. And really, Disturbed never has done that on an album before. They always have just been straight on like hard rock. When back on the Believe album, when they did uh, Darkness, that was really the last time you heard a major ballad from them until the cover of A Sound of Silence. And it was uh, refreshing to hear that on that album because I loved hearing Darkness back then. And then, you know, when they came back with The Sound of Silence, it was really great. So when they started uh, adding more ballads here, do they do too many? I think they do a few too many because one of the big comparisons that they were trying to make when they said that they wanted to do this album was they wanted to be Metallica Black Album-esque. Metallica didn't even really do that many battles. They did two, I think, on the Black Album. And uh, on this one, they're doing three and then they, they toy around with it a little bit on other songs. So I think they do... A little bit too much ballad work. Go back to doing what Disturbed is good at. And they start the album hot with two really good singles. But then after that, it kind of just is that straight rock, hard rock filler that you've come to love from Disturbed or not like from Disturbed, depending on your takes of what they do in the past. But uh, for me, I think that they could have focused a little bit more on the songwriting on this one than uh, what they did on you know, what they did, because they could have taken this album in so many other directions. But once they got past the initial ballad trick, uh, it kind of falls short for me. All right. <laughs> so I hate to tell you this, buddy. You were literally 88, like whatever those extra points were. Tenths of a second. Over. The two minute mark. Ah. Wah, wah. <laughs> Somebody had to eventually go over. That's right. So this is a first where someone had has gone over, which means that as long as I'm under two minutes, but now I'm going to actually do it. I'm going to go as long as I can. So that means I could potentially get my first win as long as I don't go over two minutes. Correct. But let so me, no pressure on me. No pressure. But let me just say this because I feel like I owe it after that review to give at least a star yes, I'm review. I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, I'm going to give this one two and a half stars. Ooh. I'm very critical on Disturbed because they had a great album in the last one in an Immortalized. And then to come back and it's, yeah, you're taking the steps, but... How good are the steps that you're taking? Okay. So now the pressure's on me. You ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I got to stretch a little bit. Got to do a few little. Wah, wah, wah. Yep. All right. Now I'm in my David Draymond moment. Okay. So um, I'm going to tell you what Zach's review is right now. It's going to be, it's cool. Done. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. You'll be surprised. All right. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So now I actually was not a fan of Immortalized. I thought it was actually a little underwhelming and just on the boring side. 
um, just forgettable, not even boring. So I really went into this album, Evolution, with no expectations, and I was relatively surprised. I will say that it's still got a fair amount of hookiness to it. Uh, if you're uh, not a fan of Disturbed, this is not going to make it win you over. Um, even some of the slower ballad songs, I felt like there were some moments I was listening to a more serious toned Tenacious D. Uh, especially on the song Reason to Fight. Just his baritone, something about him, like, am I listening to Jack Black? With that said, I actually liked the ballad moments better than the electric. Yeah, if you listen to it, some of these ballads could have easily been electrified uh, and still have been a solid hard rock song. But I actually kind of enjoyed hearing it, uh, even just the words refreshing. It was nice to kind of hear the acoustic moments and hear the songwriting aspect to it. Um, songs like um, Watch You Burn actually really was a standout. And I think that was probably the best song I've heard from Disturbed out in a long time. Again, though, it even with the heavier moments, it's not as memorable as their past stuff. But overall, I went into it with really low expectations came out of it with a relatively nice surprise. Am I going to still enjoy it next year or even a month from now? I don't know. But upon first listen, I was actually, it was nice to hear Disturbed in a better light after a lot of, in my opinion, missteps. So, before you tell me whether or not I was able to stay within the two minutes. Okay. Let me give you my star review. Out of five stars, I'd give this three stars. Okay. Uh, you know what? Three and a half. Okay. Um, I give that half a star knowing that by this time next year or even next month, I'm probably going to forget this album even existed, to be honest. Um, but I was really... It was a pleasant surprise. And another reason why I can kind of say that I liked Immortalize better than this one mm -hmm. is because normally you'll release... Maybe a couple live tracks that the band, you know, really dug when they were doing it on tour. This one, when they did that, they released The Sound of Silence again with Miles Kennedy. So I yeah. think if you're going to release some live stuff, at least make it your own live well, stuff. Well, that was a bonus track. It was, right, but, it, but that's what bands do. So yeah. they'll do the bonus uh, tracks on like a deluxe edition, quote unquote, with you know some of the stuff they did because um on asylum they released down with the sickness uh stupefy i believe and maybe one other track but they yeah. were all their original tunes not a cover yeah so now you're re-releasing a cover that you did live with another vocalist helping you well the thing that's the thing i feel like the most memorable moments from immortalized were there, a cover and a song about david draymond getting high there were more. And that was a memorable moment just because like, oh, come on, dude, really? Because they have some powerful lyrics when they want to be powerful. Right, right. I completely me, agree. That was just like, come on, you're really going to do a bong riff in the middle of a song? Absolutely. And, ugh, ugh. Hey, he likes token up, ugh. man. And But I will say it could, you could have easily understood why Disturbed, after having such a massive success on an acoustic cover, would want to make an album that's half acoustics acoustic tunes but at no point did i think it was forced i actually felt like surprised at how natural uh some of these songs came about or sounded all right fair enough so three and a half stars but now it doesn't matter who had the better review because i would argue you actually did have a, a better review over me unfortunately for you you went literally microseconds past the two minute mark i could make the argument that maybe you hit the stop button too slowly i didn't know when you started the timer <laughs> well we'll we'll just say there's circumstances to thwart my perfect record i don't know <laughs> i think i'm a very fair stop watch keeper all right and maybe in the future we might want to hire someone <laughs> yes <laughs> You're when, hearing it here first. As we're making these episodes, <laughs> we're discovering new things we should probably do. Like, if you would oh, like I to know. donate to Epic <laughs> Footnote Productions, <laughs> but do you anyway, want to be on the show? Anyway, come you over did. our studios and record us. Anyway, anyway, you did one minute forty three sixty five. Woo! So you came close. Woo! I'll just have to get you next time. But have to get me next time. This has been two minutes to review. I'm Matt. I'm Zach, and we'll talk to you later. See you.